Hello. This tutorial will help you find practice tests and study guides for things like the NCLEX exam, for the TEAS test, for the nursing assistant test. From our Anoka Ramsey homepage, hover over the student resources in the blue bar and click on library. This will bring you to our library homepage. Scroll down until you see the scholarly journals and newspaper databases bar. Click there. Click on Learning Express Library. Here you'll find the Learning Express Library where you can search for tests, tutorials, ebooks, etc. If we search for nursing assistant, you can see that there are a variety of um, materials that will pop up. I'm going to click on the search box and you can see there are 21 tests, practice tests, a couple tutorials, some ebooks, some flashcards. And if we scroll down through, you can see the different things that you can try. So here's a practice test for the nursing assistant, flash review, practice test one. If you click on a practice test, for example, it will ask you to sign in. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to register to create an account. Select library card and enter the barcode number off the back of your student ID card. If you don't have a student ID card yet, I will show you a different way to access this material. In the meantime, I'm going to go back and log in myself so I can show you where to find these things. I would generally start with that search. Um, if you're looking for just an ebook, for example, you can uncheck every box except the ebook. If you just want flashcards to practice with, you can uncheck all these other boxes. Or you can just scroll through the pages using this next button or the different page numbers to find the different things that are available there. You can see that different things came up, nursing schools. This is like, this will prepare you for the T's test, the biology questions. This will prepare you for the chemistry questions on the T's test. So there's a variety of things you can work through as you go. These are eBooks. You can just download the eBook. It's a PDF, as you can see by this little icon here. Or you can go back and try, um, example if you want to use the flashcards. And it'll tell you about it. It contains um, <clears throat> questions that pertain to the um, test. You can just go through and start using them right away. If you want to flip the card, you can flip it this way. Okay. Um, for the practice tests, let's find one of those. Okay, let's click on the practice test one. It's designed to provide the practice that you need to. Um, this next page that you um, get to, it will tell you about the test. So read through that. It'll tell you how to take the test, how to use this um, interface, how you want to answer the questions, if you need to change your answer, etc. So read through all of that. Uh, and then over on the right, it will give you a choice of how you want to take this test. If you take the learner mode, if you haven't, if you don't have a book, I recommend using the learner mode because then you can view the answer to each question as you go along and it helps you study for the test. So even if you haven't gone through the materials yet, you can use this learner mode and um, go through the test that way. Once you've gone through that once or twice, however many times you need to feel comfortable, you can try the practice test. Um, if it's a timed test, the timer will display, but you can keep going to finish the test. That's just to give you an idea of how much time you'll take. If you do simulation, then the test will stop when the timer is up, if it's a timed test. So I'd recommend doing that version last. It gives you two hours to complete the test, 120 minutes. It tells you how many questions are on the test. So even if you don't have a book, this is a good way to study. Once, um, once you've completed that, you can move on to the next one or do the flashcards to practice. There's a variety of things that you can do in here. 
if you can't um, log in or if you don't have a library card, um, if you don't have your barcode off the back of your student ID card, you can also find the same information at elibrarymn.org. Both of these databases are paid for by the state of Minnesota. Here you'll just have to create an account with your um, name and um, email, I believe it is. So if you were to click on job and career from this page, here's Learning Express again. So click on Learning Express, that'll pop up in a new window. You can search here as well, just find this test tutorial and you can do nursing assistant or you could do T's if you're looking for T's tests. And you can see there's 489 different tests that are related to the, um, the T's test. There's 21 tutorials, 31 ebooks, articles, flashcards, etc. Again, you navigate through the same way by using these buttons to go from one page to the next. But let's say that you wanted to um, do the T's practice test, the reading practice test one. It's going to ask you to sign in with a username and password. And if you don't have one yet, you just need to register. Now, when you're on the Minitex site, all you need to do is enter your information here, first name, your email, your email address will be your username, and then make up a password and register. And then you can access these tests the same way. You don't, if you don't have your library card, you can still get to these tests and use them. If you have any questions, feel free to call the librarians, contact us, make an appointment, and we'll be happy to walk you through those.